god. What is good, y'all? It is freaking Glake here. Yo, it is like 2 o'clock in the morning right now. Close to 3 o'clock, I think. It's more like 2.30 or something like that. Yesterday was a big freaking day. If you're a Call of Duty fan, it was a big freaking day. If you're me, you're stuck at work, running on two hours of sleep. And you got no time to watch these things. You just miss them when they come out all the damn time because you're working during the day. Anyways, so unless you've been living under a rock, you probably already know that uh, Treyarch officially revealed Black Ops 4 yesterday. They revealed a ton of information. They did their own live reveal event somewhere in like California, I guess it was. Um, I missed on pretty much everything. I haven't got to see any footage of the game. I haven't got to see any trailers, any teasers, any of that kind of stuff. All I basically have been doing is reading about it um, because, yeah, that's basically all I had access to today was just Twitter. So I was just keeping up with all the uh, all the goodness on the Twitter feeds. But I have not seen any gameplay or any trailers, so I kind of saved all the footage that is out there. For reaction trailer, I was like, why not? Why don't I just do a reaction video? Um, need some more reaction videos <laughs> I haven't done one in a long time and I've kind of stopped doing them for like DLC character uh, reveals and announcements for fighting games so you know what I'm gonna do one for this because I'm actually a pretty big Call of Duty fan uh, the Black Ops franchise is my favorite Call of Duty franchise among like all I mean it's, it's it's like a lot of people's favorite Call of Duty franchise like pretty sure I'm no minority when I say that there um, but yeah I definitely really want to check this out um, my brain is like at like 30% functionality right now so uh, <laughs> when all this is done I want to share my thoughts on what I see things are probably just not going to come out right but I will do my best to kind of share my thoughts on on what we're looking at but anyway I'm tired of waiting I'm gonna jump right into this so we're gonna do the multiplayer trailer reveal trailer first um, I know there's a zombie ones but I'm just not gonna do that because this is a competitive gaming like multiplayer focused channel for the most part anyway I don't play Call of Duty zombies so I'm just gonna like leave that out but we will watch the uh, the battle royale uh, trailer as well so um, yeah let's jump into this let's it's time to check this thing out right, let's see let's see let's see make sure my audio levels there we go Ooh, that's that's kind of loud man that's kind of loud Bro, no freaking jetpacks? Oh, wait, 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 what, what was that? What was that? Oof. Alright, I could live without the stupid supers. I, I could live without those, to be very honest with you. We got health bars, though. Thank God for the health bars. Yes! Dang, there's some like crazy weapons up in this game, huh? Yes, yes, I'm loving them kill streaks. Let's go. Dang, we got shooting and swimming underwater. Let's go. This game looks so clean, dude. This looks so clean. Well, I'm liking this map. Getting uh, getting uh, Black Ops One vibes. Is that a Black Ops One map? Did they like remake it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta get a closer look at that. Okay, we got some BS nades, of course. Of course. Mm, we got the dogs! We got the dogs back, let's go. Oh my god, man. October 12th, dude. Freaking. Freaking. Now and get seven days away from my birthday. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, all right, all right. So before I hop into the Battle Royale trailer, 
I like what they're doing. I like what they're doing. It still looks very Black Ops. How do I how do I say this in the most dumb <laughs> in the most least dumb way as possible? It still looks very Black Ops ish. As a matter of fact, it really reminds me of Black Ops Three. Like it almost looks identical to Black Ops Three. To be very honest with you, minus the uh, the exosuits. No exosuits. Thank God. I'm really happy about that. I could live without the supers though. Like I, I, I don't know, man. Like after going to World War II, which doesn't have any of that Super Bowl crap. Like for real. Like I would, I would kind of prefer a Call of Duty game. So that's kind of just like straight, honest gunplay. None of this like freaking super, freaking pound on the ground thing with your whatever the thing is. Like I could live without those. Uh, but you know, whatever they put them in there. Um, I think. Treyarch was the first person it they're the only ones who do that actually now that I think about it they're the only one they're the only ones who have uh supers in their call of duty titles but it's fine it's like their own little quirk whatever uh I could live with it but like to be honest I would very much prefer them not to put those back in the game if you're gonna take exo suits out like just try taking out supers for once too like that'd be really nice um but anyway, it looks it looks very similar to Black Ops uh Black Ops 3 to be very honest, but it looks a lot more polished. Holy crap, the game looks so freaking good and I'm really happy that they have the health bars because that was one of the things that I really liked about uh Infinite Warfare. That's probably one of the few things I liked about Infinite Warfare to be honest. Infinite Warfare wasn't a bad game, but like uh let me stop. It was a bad game. Um but one thing that I did like about it was the uh, health bars. I really, I really like that, and I'm glad that they're putting uh, those back into the game. That looks fr freaking awesome. Otherwise, you know, you've got the cool kill streaks. Everything looks very, uh, very familiar, and I'm glad it's just boots on ground, dude. Like, I can't explain like how happy I am that it's boots on the ground now. Whether or not I will probably enjoy this over Black Ops One or, or Black Ops Two, it's probably those games will probably forever, honestly, just be. My top two favorite Call of Duty games. Uh, I don't really see this topping this, but I do see this game topping Black Ops 3, which I did enjoy. Like, among all of the Black Ops games, or, sorry, among all the Call of Duty games with exosuits, I enjoyed Black Ops 3 the most. And that's saying something, because I freaking hate exosuits. So, I mean, I feel like Treyarch did the best job overall with the uh, futuristic Call of Duty games, but, um, yeah, whether or not I'll enjoy this more than World War II, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm actually one of the very few people I feel like who actually really like World War II. I like how it feels. It feels... <sighs> I don't want to say it feels like Black Ops 1, but it really reminds me of Black Ops 1, sort of. Um, but, uh, yeah. I mean, Boots on Ground is really nice, so I'm just happy. Like, that's that's what makes me more happy than anything else, is that it's Boots on the Ground. There's no more exosuits. Anyway... Um, let's jump into this Battle Royale trailer, because I kind of want to see that too. I feel like I'm missing, like, several other trailers. What is this? Black Ops 4. Is this a playlist? Hold on here. Power in Numbers Cinematic. There's so much stuff. Multiplayer, Black Ops 4. Is, okay, yeah, forget that. Zombies, Zombies. Black Ops 4 PC behind the scenes. Yeah, no, where's the freaking, uh... <laughs> Where's the, uh, uh, can somebody show me where the, uh, where's the freaking Battle Royale thing? Oh, here it is. Black Ops. Blackout. Because that's what that's what's called. Blackout. Okay, okay. Let's, let's check this out, Dag. Let's check this out next. Imagine if we took that gameplay experience you know and love and we spun it on its head. We don't have to describe how Battle Royale works. These games are no secret. We play them too. But for us to even consider this kind of experience, it had to be unique and done in a way only Black Ops could do. A survival game with the best, most refined mechanics in the world our signature controls and gameplay systems, and the kind of fast-paced action that only Call of Duty can deliver. All in the biggest map we've ever made. And that is just the beginning. We're bringing to bear 10 years worth of Black Ops Universe features. 
Hey. Characters, your favorite weapons, iconic parts of your favorite maps, and we're putting them all in one place. A crazy collision of fun, and letting you navigate it with land, sea, and air vehicles. Something Dude, holy crap! Experienced before. This is something totally new. This is doing battle royale the Black Ops way. This is Blackout. Dang, you know, I would really like to see some freaking gameplay, to be very honest with you. Holy crap. Yo. Um, I don't know what people are talking about, about Fortnite, like, popping off. Dude, like, this, this, like, what they just showed me right now, that just looks like it could easily just freaking body PUBG and freaking uh, Fortnite. Like I'm, I'm dead serious. What they just showed us right now it just looks like a body PUBG and Fortnite. It just looks like it's gonna have so much more stuff. And I know more doesn't always equal better, but like, I don't. I just feel like they're gonna have their shit together because if you look at PUBG, the game's like not even fucking finished. Shit isn't optimized at all. And then Fortnite is basic as hell. It's just basically just building and shit. So I mean, like, I don't even need to go into Fortnite. It's the same shit all the damn time. You don't even have vehicles in that game. It's very simple. It's a very simple, I want to say mechanic-wise, it's kind of a very simple battle royale game, but, like, the skill, the real skill in Fortnite is the whole building concept of it. You know, I mean, there's, people talk about a lot about the RNG with the weapon system and all that other kind of stuff. I'm not even going to touch on that, but overall, as far as, like, features and whatnot, this seems like it's going to have a lot of stuff. It will be interesting to see how big the map is exactly from what it looks like there. It looks like it's going to be pretty freaking big if they're going to allow you to, like, freaking use water vehicles and all this other kind of stuff, helicopters. The map's got to be, like, pretty sizable, so, I mean, Jesus, I really want to see this thing in action. I thought, I, I honestly thought there was gameplay footage out for it already, but I guess they're just, they just did their own little, um... I guess they just did their own little, like, teaser information trailer on it. Um, wow. One thing I will say, though, is that there's going to be so much Battle Royale stuff, and I'm like, it's... After this year, I really don't want to see any more Battle... Like, I don't... I want to see Battle Royale, like, just kind of die down just a little bit. Now, like, there have been... Like, ever since I've been, you know, sort of paying attention to, uh to the trends within the gaming industry uh the first one i would say i was around for like you know that i actually paid attention to was when mobas popped off when league of legends popped off everybody wanted to make a moba and that's exactly what they did we had mobas left and right but they just seemed a lot more spaced out um the next thing was uh collectible card games uh, collectible online card games hearthstone came out everybody wanted to make one all of a sudden had so many hearthstone clones uh, very few games that were, you know, kind of set itself apart from Hearthstone. It was kind of unique in its own way. But you had a lot of Hearthstone clones in there, and just a lot of them kind of just died out. Um, now we have the Battle Royale genre, and everybody wants to make a Battle Royale game. And I feel like very few developers are going to be able to make a game that's going to stand, uh, withstand the test of time. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like the the uh the battle royale games that are going to be on the top and remain on top are going to be Fortnite, PUBG, this and whatever Dice has for in store for uh Battlefield 5 which uh whenever they whenever they do their whole reveal multiplayer reveal for that game I will be doing a reaction video for that as well because Oh my god, Battlefield, dude. Battlefield 5 Battle Royale, bro. Oh my god. I can't even wait until that's revealed. Like, holy smokes. Like, my hype is going to be, like, times 30. Like, it's going to be times 5. Let's just, times 50, dude. It's going to be freaking insane. Um, But anyway, you know, I, 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 I really do think that... um. That after this year, I just feel like like the whole battle royale thing could should kind of just die down a little bit, uh, and I, I think it probably will because you know uh, I think developers are gonna like start having like if, if people are thinking about making a, a battle royale battle royale game, I think they're, they're gonna kind of start having second thoughts just because you're gonna have all these top dogs, and it's just gonna sort of set the tone for the whole battle royale genre for a while now, and I think uh, you know personally I feel like it's kind of dying down just a little bit now, but. Um, <laughs> Call of Duty, like, a Call of Duty Battle Royale game is something, like, I've dreamed of, like, before Battle Royale games were even a thing. Like, it's just always something that I've wanted. So, like, 
I'm freaking loving this. Like, I can't wait to see this in action. I, I really can't wait. Oh, my God, dude. Like, Black Ops 4, dude. <laughs> I, it's dude i just feel like this is a treat man because like i've never been excited for a call of duty title more than two like more than one for more than one year like it's two years in a row now that i'm hyped for cod last year i was really hyped for world war ii and now this year like i'm always kind of excited to see what treyarch has but now i'm actually i can i'm actually confirmed hype now for uh for black ops 4 so like dude uh, like i wonder wait, what's the next year dude next year is freaking infinity war is it uh, not infinity war yeah, that's what that's what that's what Infinity Ward. That's what they are. I call them Infinity Ward. What's wrong with me? Next year is Infinity Ward, I think. Yeah. So I mean, jeez, oh, I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. To be honest, let's just let's just live in the present moment. This is really great. This is really awesome. Um, just some closing thoughts because this is already kind of getting pretty long that I kind of want to touch on. So I know it has been noted that this game does not have a single player campaign. Um, I kind of have mixed feelings about that, but personally, it's not an issue for me just because I literally only buy Call of Duty titles for the multiplayer. That's it. I've been doing that since Black Ops 1. This is my first Call of Duty game, and uh, yeah, I've never... I won't say I've never touched a Call of Duty campaign because I have, but I've never finished one, and uh, it's not anything that, like, you know, them taking out single player literally means nothing for me just because I've been buying the game. Spending $60 on a Call of Duty game for multiplayer every year pretty much uh aside from ghosts i think that was yeah ghosts was the only call of duty title i missed um on next gen at, at least recently um so uh yeah it's not that big of a deal for me um i feel like if they could or if they if they wanted to they could always release single player separate or like a single player campaign separately they can release it via like a, a dlc expansion or something like that like they do like what like tri-monthly dlc expansions they could always throw in a single player campaign there if they wanted to um they could do something different like like what they're doing now this is completely different they did the whole forget what you know marketing scheme and like yeah this is this is pretty different like this is very uh very foreign to what we've known as far as like what <laughs> the the current trend of call of duty uh provides so this is pretty different and uh let's see what else is there anything else i really wanted to touch on oh yes uh i feel like maybe i should watch that as well but you know this has already gone too long so i won't watch it but there is a separate trailer i think for uh the whole uh call of duty on battle.net that's another thing I want to quickly touch on. Um, I know a lot of PC players are really happy about that. I don't know why it's a big deal for most people that Call of Duty isn't, or that Call of Duty is on uh, Battle.net. I know it means servers are more optimized, things are going to be a lot more smoother. But I just feel like if you were a fan of Call of Duty on PC in the past, you would probably just stick to PC. And if you were a fan of like Call of Duty on console in the past, you're probably just going to stick to console. I'm not really sure why you would make the switch now. It's not that much different. Uh, personally, I think be or with the game being available only on the Battle.net client is a little bit better for the community because uh, yeah, good luck hacking the game now. It's not going to be as easy to freaking hack the game. And one thing I know is that PC Call of Duty community is full of freaking hackers. Um, so yeah, it being on a it, it being available on one uh one one hub, I guess you can say is a pretty smart decision and uh it's definitely going to make the pc call of duty experience a lot better um really happy that you know blizzard is doing that i'm going to pick it up on pc and ps4 i think that's that's the route i'm going um so this is will actually be the first call of duty game that i play on pc and i'm actually only getting it on pc for the battle royale uh version if they end up releasing the battle royale thing separately uh, I will only download that on PC, but and I will play everything else on console. Call of Duty has always been like a console thing for me. The community will always be the biggest on console. Mark my words, it will always be the biggest on console until consoles are wiped off the face of the planet. The Call of Duty community, it's a console community, man. <laughs> There's literally nothing you can do about it. Um, but yeah, I will be playing the Battle Royale mode on PC most likely. Um, or I'll, I'll be playing on both platforms, but uh, if if it's available separately on PC, that's what I'll I'll get on PC. I'll just you know I'll just buy the actual full game on console only. So that's kind of my plan. Um, let me know what platform you uh, plan on playing it on because you know I think a lot of people are now thinking about making the switch to PC. 
like I said, if you've been playing on console all these years, if Battle Royale is the only reason why you're thinking about switching to PC, that makes sense. But otherwise, like, I don't understand why. Like, <laughs> why would you switch now? I just don't really get that. Um, like, <laughs> is Battle.net really the only reason? Like, uh, okay, I mean, if that is, that's cool. But, like, I'm just kind of curious. Anyway... This has gone on long enough, so October freaking 12th, I'm really hyped. Uh, you know, usually, or the other past few years, I've kind of done videos, like uh, news update videos uh, surrounding the next Call of Duty title for that given year. Haven't really been doing that this year, and honestly, I probably won't do, like, any future, like, oh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 news updates. I probably won't be doing any of those. But if there is, like, you know, when gameplay, like, if they do a gameplay trailer uh, reveal or whatever for the black, or for the Blackout mode, I'll do a reaction video for that. Um, that's pretty much as most of them I'm going to do as far as Call of Duty, like, coverage goes. And it's going to be the same thing for Battlefield 5 and the same thing for... Uh, Destiny 2 whenever they announce the uh, um, fall 2018 expansion. Hopefully that has a battle royale mode, dude. That'd be freaking lit. But anyway, that's going to do it for me today, dude. I'm really freaking hyped for Black Ops 4. Let me know what you're most hyped about it in the comments below if you check this out. If you enjoyed the video, consider smacking that like button. If you haven't sold to the channel yet, consider slapping that uh, sub button as well. I try to do videos as often as I can almost every day. And, uh, you know, when this game drops, definitely expect some content. Uh, <coughs> lead some multiplayer content up there. I'm going to be doing a lot of Battle Royale videos when this game drops, so uh, I'll be on that grind for sure. But until next time, you guys keep on gaming, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.